We want to welcome everyone to Great Grace Ministries. This is the month of May. Glory be to God. I say hallelujah. Wow. What an awesome time to be in God's presence. A lot of people are discouraged. A lot of people are sick. A lot of people are depressed. But here you are, filled with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, energized by the Spirit of God, ready to take all nations. Glory to God. Wow. Are you ready for the word of God? If you are ready, let's stand up while we read the word of God from the book of Psalms. Psalm number 72, verse 7. Psalm number 72, verse number 7 and 17. Glory to God. Let us read. One, two, go. Be all good men flourish in his reign with abundance of peace to the end of time. Verse 17. His name will be honored forever. It will continue as the sun and all we be blessed in him. All nations, we praise him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. You may be seated. All nations will praise him. Why? Verse 7. Verse 7 says, May all good men flourish. May all righteous men flourish and reign with abundance of peace to the end of time. To the end of time. To the end of time. May all good men flourish. Flourish. Flourish in his reign. With abundance of peace. To the end of time. The King James. Let's read it from the King James. The King James. In his days. Shall the righteous flourish. An abundance of peace. So long as the moon endure it. In his days. Somebody say, in my days. In my days. I will flourish. Because I am righteous. This is God's desire for his children. This is God's desire for the righteous. For them to flourish. For them to do well. For them to have more than enough for every situation. In his days shall the righteous flourish an abundance of peace so long as the moon endure it. 
This is God's desire for his people. When? When is this ever going to happen? When will God's people flourish? Where will the righteous flourish and be in abundance of peace? In the world of mess, in the world full of trouble, in the world full of disappointments, in the world where people take advantage of the righteous. When will it happen? In his days. In his days shall the righteous flourish an abundance of peace so long as the moon endure it. When will this happen? When will it happen? And who will it happen for? Who will it happen for? The unbelievers? For the believers. Because he said it is going to be for the righteous. For the righteous. In his days shall the righteous flourish. When? In his days. If you are righteous in your lifetime, you should flourish. That's God's desire. That's God's purpose. And whatever God says, his word and power to, to come to pass. The circumstances might not look like it. Your resources might not tell the story you want. Your head might not tell the story you want. Your career might be in a mess. But if you are righteous, the Bible said you are flourishing. In your days, you ought to flourish. And so long as you are not aware that you are supposed to flourish, you will continually be drying out because you don't have the knowledge of the word of God to know that he has called you, empowered you to flourish. The Bible says with the heart man believes and with mouth confession is made unto salvation. Until you begin to tell everything and anything that have ears. I am the righteous and I flourish. I am the righteous. I am flourish. I am the righteous. I flourish in all things. Your circumstances will not change even when it is God's best intentions for you. So long, so long as you don't know and when you know, you refuse to talk it, you refuse to declare it, you refuse to announce it because you think people around you may laugh at you because it doesn't look like what you are saying is a truth. Nothing is the truth except the word of God. Nothing is the truth except what God says. And he didn't say, when, when you get to heaven, you will flourish. He said, in his days, in his days, shall the righteous flourish. In his days. In his days. So in my days, I flourish. I do well. Your testimony may have been, I have been there a long time. I have done what I needed to do. 
I have prayed. I have fasted. I have given. It's like nothing is moving. Who told you? To God, you are flourishing. To the ordinary man, you are dying. To the ordinary man, you have missed the way. To the ordinary man, you are confused because what you are doing does not fit his rationale. And the Bible says, don't be conformed to the world. Don't be conformed to what people expect you to be. Be conformed to the world of God. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2. Tell somebody I flourish. Colossians chapter number 2. Colossians is, is in the New Testament. Let's read it from verse 5. Colossians, Colossians, Colossians. No, verse 6. As ye, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord. So, walk in him. Keep it at six. At ye, as ye, have therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so, walk in him. In Psalm, it said, In his days, the righteous will flourish. Why? Because he is in Christ Jesus. Because he is in Christ Jesus. And he said, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him. Do what he said you should do. Declare what he said you should declare. Know what he has fulfilled in your life. And appropriately, appropriate it to yourself. I am the righteous. You know what it means to be righteous? To be made complete. To be free of trouble. To be free of error. Non-defective. So what you are saying, I am not defective. I am righteous. I am not defective. I am not sick. I said to be righteous is to be perfect. Are you hearing me? To be righteous is to be free from trouble. Free from any sin. Sin makes you defective. Sin makes you unrighteous. Why did Jesus come? Why did Jesus come? Why did he die? Why did he resurrect? Why is he on the face of the earth? Let's read it. From Hebrews chapter, Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews 13, we'll come back to Colossians. Hebrews 13. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell somebody I flourish. Hebrews. What else did you turn to? Hebrews 13. Let me turn there too. Hebrews 13, verse 20 and 21. Hebrews 13, glory to God. I want you to be alert. Don't go to sleep. He said, Hebrews 13, 20, first. Now, the God of peace. Oh, hallelujah. He said, now, when? Now, the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Hallelujah. He said, now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Why did he bring Jesus back from the dead? So that you suffer the more. So that you remain victim forever. Let's read verse 21. Let's find out. Make you what? Perfect. Make you righteous. Make you perfect in every good work. Make you perfect. Tell somebody I am perfect. I am perfect in him. The purpose of Christ's resurrection is to make you perfect. May make you perfect in every good work to do his will. I said, the will of God is for you to flourish, to do well. For you to enjoy righteousness, to be complete, irrespective of the environment, irrespective of the people around you, irrespective of the circumstances, Christ has already done it. He has already won the victory. Why did he come back from the, from the grave? To make me what? Perfect. I want you to know that. Not, just don't know it mentally. I want you to know it in your spirit and live by it. That I am perfect because Jesus Christ came back to make me perfect. To do what? To do his will. For somebody to say, I don't know God's will, is to say God, is to say that Jesus Christ failed in his assignment. Think about it. He said the purpose of Christ coming back from the, from the dead, why God raised him from the dead, is to make you perfect in every good work to do his will. You need to know his will to do his will. So did Jesus fail in his work? Did Jesus fail God? He did not fail God. So if God accomplished what he said he was going to do through Christ Jesus to make you perfect, 
So the problem is not with Jesus' work. The problem is you not knowing that you'll be made perfect. This is why we come to church. To be taught by the Spirit of God who we are in Christ Jesus, what he has already done, and what we need to enjoy now here on earth as the righteous. Most Christians cannot even tell, cannot even say they are righteous because they've never been taught. They've only been taught they are sinners. They only know that they are sinners. But I have come to announce to you that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. This is who we are. Justified. Made free. Perfected by his death. Let us see what he said. Hebrews 13, 21. Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing. Well-pleasing. Without error. Well-pleasing. Without defects, we are pleasing in whose sight? In his sight. Not what your neighbor thinks. They think you're praying too much. It's okay. They think you go to church too much. It's okay. Pain of tight is stupidity. It's all right. Whose voice are you listening to? Is it God or man? Your children will say, wow, you are, you are wasting your time. You're wasting your resources. Why don't you do it like other men do it? Why don't you do it as other parents do it? Every day, you carry your Bible. Every day is a prayer meeting. Every day, you're going for another service. I refuse to labor for that which perish. And I choose to labor for that which Christ Jesus has given me. I'm taking you on a journey. On a journey. In Psalm we read earlier, verse 7. Can we go back there before we come back here? I will show you something there. Sam. Seventy-two, verse seven. In his days, shall the righteous what flourish? In his days, in his days, in whose days? In my days, in him. In my days, in him. In your days, in him. Shall the righteous what? Flourish. You cannot be in Christ Jesus and not be righteous. In your days in him. How do you know in your days in him shall the righteous flourish? I will show it to you. He said in his days shall the righteous flourish and abundant of peace so long as the moon endured. Go to verse 17. In his name. You see that? In his name. Whose name? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, shall endure forever. His name shall endure forever. He said, in his days shall the righteous flourish. In his name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun. And men 
shall be blessed in him. In which name? In his name. In his name. Tell somebody in his name I am blessed. In his name I am made perfect. In his name I lack nothing. We are the righteousness of God. He said in, this, in, in these days shall the righteous flourish with the well in his days. Go back to Hebrews. Hebrews 13, 21. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 21. He said, God make you Make you perfect in every good work. To do his will. Walking in you. That which is well pleasing in his sight. I want you to go home. And write this scripture out. And begin to recite it to yourself. Make me perfect in every good work. To do his will. Walking in me. That which is well pleasing in his sight. God is working in me. That which is well pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ. To whom be glory forever and ever. I said God. God is working in me. He has perfected me. To do his good will. To do his good will. And may the Lord make you perfect in every good work. That's a very nice prayer. I said, may the Lord make you perfect in every good work. To do his will. To do his will. He said, he will not just leave you by yourself to do it. He will not just leave you trying to guess what next to do, what step to take. The next sentence said, walking in you. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, God is walking in me. God is walking in me. God is walking in you. Walking in you, that which is pleasing. He did not just leave you. This is why he gave you the Holy Spirit to help you. To help you. Do that which is pleasing to him. I do that which is pleasing to him. I don't second guess my actions. Every opportunity you have, every opportunity you see, take advantage of it. Declare his testimony. Declare what God has made. Declare what God has done. Declare what he has personally revealed to you. A lot of Christians don't know that God has made them perfect. Now to be perfect is to be without error, to be without sin. To be without defect. Defect. So in other words, it's to be complete. It's to be complete. To be righteous is to be complete in Christ Jesus. Colossians 2. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of God is sweet in my mouth. It's my life. I have put on Christ. Who is my life? Colossians chapter 2 verse 6. Verse 6. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It said, ye, as ye have therefore Received. Received. When? 
yesterday, today, or a long time ago? Depends when you received him. As ye have therefore received. In the past, you have already received Christ. As ye have therefore received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. Walk in him. Receiving him is one thing. Walking in him is another. Everyone can receive Christ and refuse to, some people might refuse to walk in Christ, but they received him, but they never know how to walk in Christ. He said, as ye therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk in him. Walk in him. Verse 7. If you walk in him, something will happen. How? It said, be rooted in him and build up in him. Rooted and built up in him and stabilized in the fit. As ye has been taught. What of if you have not been taught? Those that have never been taught, they are Christians, they have received Christ, but they refuse to walk in him. They refuse to walk in him because they don't know they ought to walk in Christ. Tell somebody, I receive Christ and I walk in Christ. Remember the purpose Jesus came back from the dead is to make you what? Help me. Is to make you what? Perfect. The purpose he came back is to make you what? Perfect and complete. So you can do what? Do his will. Tell somebody I do his will. Said so you are rooted and built up in him and stabilized in the faith as ye have been what? Taught. Abounding. Woo! Abounding. Mounting up. Increasing. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Not complaining. With thanksgiving. There is mounting up. You, you just, you, you know, every opportunity you say, you, you, any, any opportunity you, you get, you just lift up your hand and say, thank you, Father. Oh, glory to God. I am perfect before God. I know the will of God and I walk in his will. Thank you, my Lord, for I flourish in your presence and I flourish in my days in his name. Are you following me? He said, you are bound, therefore, in thanksgiving. You are bound, therein, in thanksgiving, with thanksgiving. Abounding with joy because you walk in him. How can you be discouraged when you know you'll be made perfected in him? It doesn't matter what the enemy may throw at you. They may come from all sides. They may come from all sides. Defeating thoughts from the ones you love, your, from your close friends, from your acquaintance, from people you don't even know. Because your part and their part, they don't look the same. They don't. Because you don't do it the way they do it. You are not wise. Because you've chosen the part of life. A lot of people, including your family, will dis disown you. It's a lonely place. That's why 
the Bible says, walk in the, choose the road that is narrow. The road that is narrow, not the road that is broad. Because the one that is broad, everyone can walk in it. It is narrow. The narrow paths. Abounding therein with thanksgiving. Verse 8 and 9. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain doctrine and, and vain deceits. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Is this happening? Oh, yes. Say, so beware, lest any man spoil you true philosophy and vain deceits after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. What is the next verse? Read the next verse for me. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of Christ. In who? In him. In Christ Jesus. Dwelleth all the fullness of God held bodily. Therefore, what happened to you? For in him, oh hallelujah, glory to God, in him, it's not in Buddha, it's not in, your, in, in the apostle, it's not in any prophet, it's not in any pastor, it's only in Christ Jesus, do I, the fullness of God. Only in Christ Jesus dwell the fullness of God, body, head. Verse, verse 10. We'll stop at verse 10. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to read verse 10 for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And ye are what? Ye are what? Complete. Glory to God. Ye are what? Complete. You are perfect in him. You are righteous in him. He said, ye are perfect in him. Complete in him. Complete. Not in missing. No error. No defect. Complete. Not in missing. In him dwells the fullness of God. In him dwells the fullness of God. And he said, in his days, the righteous will flourish. The righteous will do well. The righteous will have more than enough for every situation, for everything that he might lay his hand to. He said, they will prosper in his hand. Because you are in him. Ye, and ye are complete in him which is the head. I want you to listen to that. He didn't say who is the head of angels. No, 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 no. Look at it. Which is the head of all principalities. He didn't say the head of angels. The head of all principalities. So when you say, in the name of Jesus, every principality, I command you to go down because he is the head of the principalities. When the head say, go, what does it, what happen? He goes. Every principalities and powers in him. He is the head of every principality. He is the head I said he is the head of every principality, not the head of angels. 
He is the head of principalities. How can you, how can you reconcile that? Jesus is the head of principalities? Principalities and powers in the high places? Jesus is the head. He's the head of all things. All things in heaven, on earth, and on that yet. Jesus is the head. Therefore, at the name of Jesus, every knee, every problem, every circumstance must bow. We flourish in him, in his name. Hallelujah. In him, in him, dwell it, the fullness of God. Therefore, ye are complete in him. Give me from the amplified as we go in, as we draw to a close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you are in him made full and having to come to fullness of life. I want you to hear that. Made full and having to fullness of life. Having to fullness of life in Christ. You too are filled with the God held. I said, You too are filled with the God held. This is what he described Jesus in verse 9 that Jesus is the head of all principalities and the head of God. Of God in the bodily form. But in verse 10, he said, You also, since you are in Christ Jesus, you are filled with all the Godhead the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout hallelujah! Glory to God! He said, You are. Feel with the fullness of the Godhead. What is the Godhead? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Filled with the Godhead. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And rich, full, spiritual status. And he is the head of all rule and authority to every angelic principalities and power. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He said, you are in him made full and having to come to fullness of life. Coming to fullness of life. Coming to fullness of life in Christ. You too are filled with the Godhead. I am filled with the Godhead. So may, can you give me from the King James Version now? This verse, may is our month of completeness. I said may is our month of completeness. He said ye are complete in him. I want you to be conscious of him, that you are complete, you are without defects. You are perfect. You are righteous. You are, you are what God sees you to be. God sees you as little Christ. 
I want you to, to breathe that one in. Take it in. I am lead you Christ. It's my mouth of completeness. Can you display it for them to see it? I am in my mouth of completeness. He said, the righteous flourish in his days. So I flourish in my days in him. Make it bigger. Don't be afraid. It's a mortal of completeness. And we are complete in him. I said, me is a mount of completeness. Hallelujah. So let's begin to thank God for his word. For what he has made us. Remember he said, they were taught. As you were taught, you walk in that faith. Walk in the faith as you have been taught. Know that you are complete in Christ Jesus. That you flourish in all things. That his desire for you is to be a winner at all times. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mangora brigra mahatia, rigala gala babu baba kashete kerebo, ria baga yegerebo branda haya, ingra bado sakaba yegelebo sanda, manko tabra kate kese de gerima mahaya. I am the perfection of Christ. I am perfected in Christ Jesus. I have been made whole. I am not defective. I do well. For the spirit of excellence is at work in me. I am complete in him. There is no lack in me. There is no sickness in me. I have the fullness of life, the fullness of the God held. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit dwells in me. Oh, I am complete in Christ Jesus. I am complete in him. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the amount of perfection. Thank you for the amount of completeness. Thank you for the may, for, for may, our amount of completeness. We are complete in you. We are complete in you. We are complete in you. In the name of Jesus, whatever has not been completed, in the mighty name of Jesus, I call them completed right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Mashada Bahayadaya. Roka Bayengere Bo Salahatia. Minga baba kere bo tende re bo shanda hai ingra ba dosa ha li graba shanda ba kare brondo ri baba hai te siata zobra gaba ka te ke se te ke bo ba ha zaga baba ka ye geri ba ha in the name of Jesus I declare by the Spirit of God and the anointing of the Holy Ghost whatever need to be completed on your behalf that the Spirit of God will move right now. And will make it complete in the name of Jesus. I declare wherever there have been any defects as a result of principalities and power, I invoke the power and the anointing of the one who is the head of principalities and power, and I destroy everything that has caused that imperfection, that has caused that incompleteness in the name of Jesus Christ. Be that destroyed right now in Jesus' name. Every power that has defined progress in your life, that has defied and resisted you up to this moment, I declare by the power and the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, those limitations, they are over right now in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, I command you, be healed right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus be made complete from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything that has been taken from you that has made that puzzle not to come together, whatever has been missing that needs that deal to close, that says to be made, that admission to come true, that job to be gotten, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that it is now made complete. The missing part has been put in place. In the name of Jesus, I declare the forces of nature, the hills, the moon, everything that God has created, we work together to make sure that what is missing will fall into place. 
in this mouth of completion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever there have been defilements, where you take the necessary actions and they never turn out the way you wanted them to come out, by the power and the, of the resurrected Jesus Christ, I declare that what you were unable to put in place, the same power, the same God that raised Jesus from the grave to bring you to perfection, we bring that situation and complete it on your behalf in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every plan of the enemy, every plan of the enemy that have been plotted against you, they fail on your behalf. They fail on your behalf. They fail on your behalf. Everyone that God has ordained to meet with you in this month, to help you go to the next level, whatever is required, I command them to come to you free of pain and free of any trouble. It should come to you by grace in the name of Jesus. Where your wisdom could not help, where your resources was not sufficient, I declare by the power and the provision of God, they will be made complete right now. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sweet.